Hey, what's up everyone? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this video we are going to be looking at some custom webbings, webbings, webbing, web accessories for Marvel Legends Spider-Man figures. Not so long ago, maybe about a month ago, and this is the story as how these came to be. Maybe about a month ago a gentleman contacted me and said, hey Anthony, I've been working on some Spider-Man webbing for years and I finally perfected it. I would like to send you some for you to do a video on YouTube to show off this webbing to generate some sales for me. So I said, okay, sure, I can do that. You know, I don't really sell accessories as standalone items, so I'm happy to do that for you. Let me know how you build them and everything and I will put a video together to demonstrate and show off the product. Well, his response to that was he didn't want to tell me how he made them because he said I would steal his idea and profit from it that way. So needless to say, it didn't end up happening that he sent me any. And I told him, well, I'm not, why would I do that? First of all, I can make my own. Second of all, that's pretty insulting that you came to me to promote your stuff, but you don't trust me enough to not steal the idea. So, so like I said, it didn't happen, but I told him I could make my own if I wanted to. So I figured, what the heck, let me make my own and then I'll show him if he sees this, if not, whatever, and show you guys that you can get some custom webbing if you're interested in getting some custom webbing. So this is it. It is fully bendable, fully Posable. I made it based off of loosely off of the McFarlane style webbing and I kind of mixed in some of the 90s television show because that's what I grew up on. So it does have like the loose parts and then the like kind of extra wrapped areas where it's like that. So it does look to me if I remember correctly anyways a lot like the 90s television show and then it does look like the McFarlane webbing. I put big ends on them just to look like he was going to hit somebody with them or something, but obviously I can make that however I want. And I said it is fully bendable, you know, poseable, it's wire, so you can bend it however you want to. I wouldn't probably bend it 90 degrees because eventually, unless it's some kind of special metal, it will eventually break if you keep bending it back and forth, so that's not a good idea. Uh, but, you know, there's nothing I can do. I'm not a magician, people. But anyway, so they can, I can make it in any different size. And I made it so that it was nice and thin, nice and sleek looking. I didn't want it to be too bulky, as most people often make it. So that's how I did this. It's still probably technically out of scale, just because you can't get wire small enough. But these are the narrowest, sleekest webbings I've ever seen. So I'm pretty happy with how they turned out, and I like the look. And these ones that I made, I just made these for myself. Uh, so I made them to work with the Spider-Man, the newest Amazing Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man who has the removable hands. So how that works is, we'll just pop this off and I'll show you. So I just made a little tiny loop at the end, a little tiny black loop, and that goes in the wrist around the wrist peg. So it just holds on just like that, and when you peg it in, it holds it in place. And you can't see the wire anywhere. I mean, you can see a little bit of the black, but like I said, not a magician. So you can see a little bit of the black wire in there, but it's fairly well hidden so that it looks like just the webbing is coming out of the wrist. So that's how I did that. And of course, if I if you wanted webbing for a Spider-Man that didn't have removable hands, I could just make the black loop a little bit larger so that it could fit over the hand. You know, no big deal like that. So that's what it is. It's some webbing. It's probably well, in my opinion, as the other guy said, his was the best. Well, I think mine is the best, but of course, everybody's got their own taste and biases, so whatever. But for me, this is the best webbing I own, even though it's the only custom webbing, for a Spider-Man figure. So I'm pretty happy with it. It looks to me to be fairly accurate, and I think it looks pretty cool. It's, and we'll just hold up the little one so you can see. It's uh, black with white on the outside, so it has the uh, kind of like a dry brush effect. Looks, like I said, I think it's fairly accurate and I enjoyed making it and I enjoy using it with the figure. So there it is, guys. If you like it, let me know. If you don't, that's fine too. That's cool. I just figured I'd whip some up. Since the guy didn't believe I could make my own, I figured, well, challenge accepted, sir. And then I did. So there it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.